and your mom's car is all ready to roll. Did you get the police scanner? <sighs> yep. And I found the police frequency. How about that? Good job. Now, you'll always want to know what they're up to. No surprises on your way to the border. All right. This is the fastest route. When you get there, cross between these two stations. Now, you have to exit the main road and drive through the desert for a while. But Karen's car should be okay. You got all that? Hmm. <laughs> sure. I think so. Sean, you have to know. The police are on your ass. You only get one chance here. I'm not trying to be a dick. Just... honest. I know, David. Thanks. Here. Have a seat. Don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. Your experience forms you as a person. And I imagine all the shit you've seen and how it's changed you. Pretty much. Not comparing myself, but I had to go through my own hell. In war and at home. I didn't know how to deal with emotions or other people. Are you talking about your stepdaughter? Yeah. Some rich fucking kid shot her at school where I was supposed to protect her. Me and her hated each other on sight. But once I lost her, everything became clear. How selfish and stupid I'd been. I should have listened to Chloe instead of being a bully. All of my fuck-ups are crystal clear now. But I'm not gonna fuck this up. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. But I want to be straight up with you, okay? Yeah, of course. I know you guys got screwed. But you think nobody will ever believe you. But the truth is on your side. You and Daniel can't just hide out forever. Is that how you see yourself in 10 years? If you step up and face the law, you can be free sooner than later. I don't know. I might turn myself in. After I see what happens with Daniel. I know you want to settle down first, but keep your options open. Think about it. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. You made it here. So I know you're on the right path. Oh, uh, sorry. I really have to take this. Hey, Joyce. Why did you come here? Um, you said you were from Oregon, right? Yeah, that's where I used to live. Before my stepdaughter was shot. It destroyed me. More than I was willing to acknowledge at the time. I stayed wasted for a year. Then went to AA. Got cleaned up. I met Steve. 
He owns the house behind Stanley and Arthur's. Anyway, he invited me to stay here. Offered me a fresh start when I needed it the most. Sean, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you get out of here. That's my duty now. We've come too far now. We just want a new life. That's it. I understand. I do. I'm trying to be the adult. You're too young to be dealing with all this. And Daniel is growing up fast. Too fast. <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. I don't mean to order you around. Bad habits die hard. And yes, I was suspicious when Karen showed up with you two. But after watching you and your little brother for a while, I think I get what you're going through. When our town was destroyed by that hurricane, well, my stepdaughter and her friend were among the only survivors. We lost everyone else. Jeez. I'm sorry. I used to hate them for running away. They hit the road straight away. Never to look back. While I was trying to rebuild. Did you stay in touch? Do you get along now? <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to acknowledge the past was the past and move on. Like they did. Once I realized that, I reached out to them. And we made peace with each other. They stayed here for a while. It felt good to connect with my daughter at last. You guys remind me of them, in a way. And I don't want to fuck things up this time. So, why did you come here in the end? I had to. Arcadia Bay would have been my grave. I met Steve. He owns the house behind Stanley and Arthur's. He'd lost relatives in the storm, too. So I was in a really bad shape. We became friends. And he told me about this place. How I could start fresh here. He was right. I know that moving on is a, a tough process. No matter the situation. 